Hello everyone. I am grateful to be a small part of the Zero Waste Symposium event today. I hope you're all having a wonderful, informative and collaborative day. I want to thank Rick Anthony for inviting me to speak today. I was really pleased when I found out that this year's theme is Global Overview Local Action. I think this is the exact lens with which we must address the many issues that we face today. If we only focus on the global scale of issues, we can quickly feel overwhelmed. And if we only take local action without considering the wider world, we can often overlook solutions that already exist. This duality with which we must have when we approach the climate crisis really reminds me of how systems work. The macro and micro working together simultaneously each local step is needed to create the overall system. Like many of you, I am fascinated by systems and how they work. It was actually questioning why trash was ending up on a beloved beach I spent much of my childhood on in England that led me into my curiosity of systems. I was saddened to see trash destroy this beautiful ecosystem and wanted to understand how it got here and what I could do to mitigate it. As I began to research waste systems and the connection between our land and waterways, I realized quite quickly that the issue was incredibly layered. When you go all the way back to the raw ingredient that the item of trash could be made of, to what I was seeing littering my beach, you have the fossil fuel industry that extracts the raw ingredients from the plastic, the corporations creating the products, the governments creating subsidies and laws or not, the stores selling the products, the individuals like me buying it, the city waste management system, the private companies buying the waste or recycling, the potential other countries that it may even be going to, the people running the landfills, all the tra transportation in between those systems, and the potential many middle people in between. Then there was how and who this, who was going to clean up this trash that was on my beloved beach, if at all. In just a few minutes of beginning to understand this system, it all felt totally overwhelming. A feeling I'm sure you have all felt. It was impossible for me to really point a finger at a particular stage in this system or person. I was just one person moved by something that was happening in my local environment. I questioned how could I connect to this big global system? So, I did what many of you probably do. I signed up to as many different climate organizations as I possibly could to just learn as much as I could from people who have already been doing decades of work in these fields. So I took action on petitions. I showed up to rallies and climate marches and met as many people as I could and tried to learn more about my local politics. Then in my home life, I started to really look at the trash I was making and take more responsibility over it by really understanding my materials, understanding where these came from, where they were going. Um, and I found personally focusing on these more individual sort of actions in my home helped me to feel more balanced when addressing the global issues. And all these actions accumulated over time through many, many subjects beyond waste to be the basis of my book, Go Gently, Actionable Steps to Nurture Yourself and the Planet. I wanted to share the ways I had been taking individual actions in my daily life to connect with the positive impact I could have on my environment, myself and my community. I believe we are a really practical species that have incredible skills, time and emotions that can be leveraged into serious impact. But sometimes it's hard to know where to start. People often ask me, what's the one most important action I can take today? I hate to say it, but I feel and believe that this answer is never that simple. And I personally would never want to prescribe one action to all. There is just no size, one size fits all when it comes to the actions we can take. And the beauty, actually, of participating in the climate movement is that every action and every one is welcome and so needed. I think we are more likely to commit to long term to our action if we are intersecting it with an area that we have knowledge, skill and interest in. So as I'm going to repeat that because it's an important moment, if we 
commit and want to commit long-term to our action, if we intersect it with an area we have knowledge, skill and interest in, I feel we are more likely to commit to that long-term. So another question I like to pose back to people when they ask me that question of what's one action I can do today is, what are you good at and how can you intersect that with what the world needs? For me, my life has been about storytelling. From an actress, a director, and now a writer, I know the best way I can interact with the movement is by being a good listener, noticing the thread of story and weaving that tapestry in an accessible and entertaining way. And then on a more individual level, if we are trying to make changes to our daily habits, I think it's always best to start with something you enjoy doing in your day. For instance, for me, I love to cook. So when I started to reduce my single use packaging usage in my home, I first started looking at the choices I was making in the food I was buying and really understanding where that food was coming from and what it was packaged in and what that packaging was. And I found it so, so much easier and more fun focusing on an area I knew I already loved than trying to overhaul my entire home and the packaging within it all at once. Once I then felt some confidence and a sense of sort of understanding and purpose in, in the food area of my home, I obviously then quickly began to be curious and interested to take action uh, around packaging uh, throughout uh, the different uh, areas of the home. So today you're going to hear from many different people with unique perspectives, areas of study on a variety of issues. Our calling as human beings and as activists is to absorb, reflect, and take action inspired by our personality and our strengths. Once we feel confident in what we can give the world, I believe we can find our place in community much easier. Whilst my book, Go Gently, focuses on our individual action, that can only be the beginning. The power that lies in coming together just as you are today is where hope lies. I'm going to close by reading it from the conclusion of my book, Go Gently. The earth, and that includes the human species, needs us to show up with the collective in mind. We are no longer about systems that only serve the 1%. We are about fair and just systems that give everyone a seat at the growing table. We are co-conspirators in designing the future we want and I think one of the greatest gifts of the human species is our ability to imagine. So let's use our radical imagination to not only change the perceptions of the climate crisis, but also change our conditions. I believe we have agency over how we wish to leave this planet for our ancestors. Thank you so much uh, for allowing me to share some space with you today, even virtually. And I really hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, and yes, thank you, my fellow earthlings.